Today we're talking about why mainstream motivation doesn't work for the INFJ. You've probably experienced this more than once. You see the things that motivate others, like the typical corporate job, or buying like a fancy car, or seeing like some kind of fitness motivation all around, and it seems like everybody is attracted to that. People get excited, they want more of it. They're not only looking towards the people who are doing these things as, oh, they're doing something amazing, they sort of want to be like them. And there is a push, there's actually a pull towards that. And we as INFJs very often feel like that has absolutely nothing to do with me. I don't feel anything, I don't feel any motivation towards this, this doesn't affect me. And so why bother? I even have tried just because I see everybody else doing it, but I don't feel anything about it. I don't feel like it makes me any happier or any more fulfilled, so why even try? The problem with this is that in the end, we still know something is missing. But we know the first way, as I described before, isn't working. So we're in this weird limbo state where we don't know what to do. We're definitely not gonna go the mainstream route because it doesn't work. And so we're sort of stuck. But that's not the way it has to be. We have to understand that the way our mind works, it's just different. And that we have to tap into what makes us the way we are, what makes us unique, and what will help us to actually get excited about success. And trust me, it won't work the same way it might work for everybody else. Before we get started, I want to remind you that we have launched our INFJ Epic Life Bootcamp round. The first call is this Saturday, January 15th. So you have time until then to join. There is no late admission. So check out all the information below. We're growing community. It's an amazing experience and we create an enormous amount of transformation all together. All the information you find in the link in the description. We have to understand that people are not stupid. Like just because you're not an INFJ, that doesn't mean that you're necessarily superficial or that you know you're only looking towards materialistic things in order to buy things to impress people that you don't really care about. Like it's not that easy. And marketing has also developed. Like people who are marketing, they're not just like pressing a button and saying, oh, we're just going to go for those superficial things and a lot of people are going to care about it. The truth is that it goes really deep psychologically and there are a couple of things that trigger us human beings. One of them is belonging. And this is probably one of the biggest things that is going to make people do something, spend money, go take action. And if that part in your brain that is responsible for this feeling is very stimulated or is just in general one of those areas that is very prominent in you, then you're going to be doing things just in order to get that feeling, right? So it really goes deep down. It is mostly about belonging. It's about safety. It's about being included. And we all have that, you know, even us as INFJs. But we have to understand there are people who just like live within the box, who love the box, who want to be part of the community. And if you hear it like this, it sounds very negative. And that's not my intention because it just isn't. It's a different way of how your brain works. There are people and actually most of them work this way that this part in their brain is very prominent and it gets really strongly stimulated. For example, for some people it's anxiety, it's neuroticism, it's getting ashamed. Like there isn't such a thing of okay that's good or that's bad or that's something you shouldn't want. You know we just have to understand who we are and how our mind functions. INFJs on the other hand have a different kind of setup. Yes, we also like belonging. Belonging is something that every human needs. But for us, it's very much we live outside of the box. And this is something we have to understand. Things that might trigger other people to take action, and it might very well be positive action towards doing something that makes you feel like part of the group, like following a certain trend, stepping on like a wagon that is just like rolling at this moment, right? There are like people who go into the fashion trends or others who say, oh, everybody around me is excited about getting that corporate job, so I'm going to get excited about it. Things like this don't really work for the INFJ. And once we understood this, that this is just a way of how our brain works, everything changes. Because we still like motivation. We still like growth. And particularly INFJs really flourish in an environment where they can continuously grow personally, where they can use their personal gifts in order to make an impact in the real world. 
world. That's why we so often like to help people because we see how our actions affect life in the real world. And it sort of seems easier to do it through another person. But let's be honest, it doesn't satisfy most of us because we do it in such a proximity with our personal life that very often things get completely entangled, that we get into a situation of codependency. It might be in friendships. It might be that we allow coworkers to not treat us well enough and we don't even know what's going on. But this motivation that we need in order to feel like life is happening and it's not just happening for us, but we are making it happen. That's a goal. That's one of the main things I, you know, advocate for. That's why I'm all about the INFJ epic life on your terms. You have to feel like you're in the driver's seat, that you're the director and the creator of your own life and your own movie. And it's completely possible. It just has to work a different way. So if we understood that the first route isn't going to fulfill us, what are we going to do? Well, in a nutshell, we have to define our personal goals, the things that would make us feel like we're living an exciting life, the things that if we would look at our life, we would say nothing is missing here. I feel like I have everything and to then take action. And yeah, it sounds very easy, but it's not that easy because most of the time our mind is just cluttered with everything that's going on, with all the demands other people have from us with everyday tasks. And so it's on us to sort of remove that to gather all our energy and to grow. That's why I'm always talking about the five pillars to an INFJ epic life, which is the basis of the INFJ epic life bootcamp. It's the thing that makes us all move forward in this community. And it's also the things you can find in the free poster that, you know, you'll find the link in the description as well. The point is this, what's going to motivate you is that you can flourish outside of that box, that outside of that box, you can make connections. And these connections will happen on a basis of I'm expanding myself. I'm growing as a human being. I'm taking up space. And in the beginning, it will feel very isolating because in order to make that happen, you are going to take up space that nobody can enter before we have learned to keep ourselves small and not in a negative way. This doesn't come from a place of, Oh, I feel weak or I feel like I can't do anything. We make that happen. So people around us get to take up space. And that is actually one of our biggest skills that we we can do this. This makes people comfortable around us. We allow them to be themselves because we can stay in the state of, okay, I pull myself back and it doesn't bother us for a lot of personalities. This is extremely hard. And so that's why people cannot do that. And a lot of conflicts happen. We can do that, but it doesn't mean that we always should and that we should do it without setting boundaries, without making sure that in the end, we're always going to give ourselves the energy and the life force we need first, and then we give to others what is overflowing. And that's a completely different system. And it just takes a little bit of getting used to. And those are the things that are going to motivate you. So if you go about it in a sense of the way I used to live my life, just isn't going to cut it. It just isn't enough for me to feel like I'm living out my potential. I'm living out the INFJ epic life that I know I can live out, right? I'm not going to settle anymore. You know, it's 2022. It's the beginning of the year. Like take that jump now. Like there's no better day to do that than today. Like that's always the case. And since we have so much like external motivation about the new year, you know, why not use that? Why not use that momentum? So once you know that you need to flourish outside of that box and that things have to happen outside from that place of people are going to acknowledge it in a positive way. People are going to understand it. You know, everything changes because so many of us have skills that we can make other people like us, but those skills aren't necessarily the things that make us feel like we're doing something amazing. We're doing these things. So other people feel either better about themselves. They like us more, or they might feel like we're cool or we're exciting or interesting, but dig deeper into you understand what you would have to do in order for you to be proud of yourself, for you to think like, Oh, I'm living that amazing life that I always wanted. And even if the people around me never believed that I wouldn't care because I know I'm winning here. And we all have that. 
And having that as our driving force will change absolutely everything because it really is a payoff you have to make. There's going to be a moment where you have to say, I'm going to do something or I'm going to start a journey that's going to make a lot of people that currently are in my life look at me and see that I'm not the person that they thought I was. They might think that I'm actually weird or esoteric or just like, you know, completely outside of their world or whatever it may be. There's something that we keep hidden so often because of this fear of abandonment. But that's what I'm trying to tell you here. We all have that. But we as INFJs can handle it a little bit more than most people. So face this fear as much as you possibly can and allow yourself to step into a new face that is out of the ordinary, that is out of that regular life. Because that regular life that everybody's following where everybody has the same rules and goals and ambitions is based on the fact that they all want to be included into this society. And the way our brain works, it's just a little different. It just needs a little bit less than that. So allow yourself to fine tune that. Allow yourself to get to a place where you're getting excited about life, where you feel like things are happening because I'm making them happen and I feel cool. I feel excited. I feel like I can be proud of myself. I'm standing tall. And if people left and right might think like, okay, what is he or she doing? It doesn't matter to me because I know that I'm taking that step every single day. I'm fighting for that life that I want. And that's what gets you really excited. Like till this day, I can honestly tell you the best days when it came to all of this were in the beginning, when I decided I'm going to be different, when I decided I'm going to prioritize myself. It's not now when there's so much more money and so much more freedom and so many more things have actualized. This is an amazing feeling and I'm so blessed and proud of myself to where I've gotten. But the first steps, the decision, the direction, those were the moments where I knew I'm making the biggest jump. I'm making the biggest contribution to myself, to my life. And these were the moments that really solidified my journey. So give yourself that gift. Make sure you step out of that norm. You accept the fact that you don't understand the typical mainstream motivation. It's not going to cut it for you. You're going to go a different way, but it's going to be a fulfilling one. It's going to be an exciting one. And you're going to be proud of yourself like never before. Remember, if you say, I want to go all in, I'm ready to take that step now, then join the INFJ Epic Life Bootcamp. You still have time until January 15th, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. All the information you need are in the description. And if you want to watch another video now that is in alignment with today's topic, then watch the video on goal setting 2022 INFJ style.